Hello everyone, I'm Brush Prince with another Total War Warhammer 2 tournament match cast. Here we have the Warhammer World Championship match between Reginald Pugnaton and Wardock of the third group stage. So let's get this underway. We have uh, Vampire Counts for Reginald Pugnaton and the Dark Elves for Wardock. So let's go ahead and start with the Vampire Counts. We have of course Helmengorst somewhere? Where's Hel Where's Hel Oh no, it's actually not Helmengorst. It's Heinrich Kemmler. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, we do have two White Kings as well. Five zombies, four Grave Guards uh, with great weapons, one of them being the Aurora Grave Guard. Three Felbats, a uh, Crypt Horror, a unit of uh, Dire Wolves, a Mortis Engine, that is the ROR. Two corpse cards, one being Unholy Lodestone and the other one being Bale Fire Variant. Now for the Dark Elves, uh, we have, uh, you know, sort of what you would expect in this matchup, I suppose. We have Morathi up in the air with two Black Dragons. We have two Black Arc Corsairs with Handbows. We also have three Black Guards of Nagron and a unit, well, actually, yes, the Death Hag over here. So, now that's done, we can hit play. And yeah, this is a typical Dark Elves build in this matchup. Uh, you know, it's... The box is strong against the Counts, so the box is what's happening here. Now this is interesting here, the... Ooh, actually those breaths do a lot more than I expected, because... What ended up happening here is the, the Crypt Corps... The Crypt Corps actually stopped the Claw and the Gash from actually dodging, so... Bit of a misplay from uh, the Counts here, but it is what it is. Of course, the Black Arc Corsairs here with Hanbos, they can skirmish, so it's completely fine, and they're going to be able to get some shots in, so it's a nice play so far from the Dark Elves, actually, although those Breath Attacks were kind of um, risky, because dodges could be very, very easy. And there's not too much mass here from uh, the Counts, which could be problematic, with the Black Dragons will have free reign in here, basically. I wonder if Morathi being up in the air is, uh... Well, I mean, I guess Dark Elves really want to have the, the air here, so I guess that makes sense. Now, the handboats here are uh, actually trying to target... What are they targeting? They're starting to shoot into the Grave Guards with great weapons, so that's, uh, that's pretty good. As you can see here, it looks like Morathi and the Black Dragons are trying to go for a breath attack here. Yes! Well, Morathi can't breath attack, obviously, but... Ooh, wow, wow, actually, no dodging here from the Count, so again, the Claw of the Gash taking massive damage. Of course, it can heal, but it's... you don't want to take that much damage. So, so far, actually, Dark Elves playing this really, really well. Of course, the Handbow's uh, some, uh, doing some work here, but they didn't get that much done. They actually shouldn't be firing at the Sternsmen, they should be firing at the ones with great weapons. And, in fact, maybe shooting at the Claw of Nagash uh, or the Crypt Horrors, those are even better targets, I'd say. And Marathi and the Black Dragons here are kind of annoying the Felbats, but I think this is a mistake, because... Honestly, they, they should have already charged the the front line of the, the Counts, potentially, but... They're coming in now, so we'll see. Is there going to be another Breath Attack? They need to do something, because... The Black Art here, you know, obviously they will get taken out soon, so... This Air Force is what needs to carry for uh, the Dark Elves, and there's a mistake here, because there's a gap. These two Black Arc Corsairs with Handbows are also uh, in the spot. You can see, already see this uh, unit of Black Guards is getting quite low. We need to see a big Breath Attack onto this Grave Guard here. Oh, that is... that actually does a lot. Wow, okay, so that was huge, but and that even takes out the Claw of the Gash, so maybe that's an even better Breath Attack than I expected. That is also a huge, just simply huge soul stealer from uh, the Dark Elves here, hitting quite a few single entities and the Grave Guard with great weapons here. Dragon's going down. Look at these corpse guards here getting hit so hard right now. I don't know why these Black Heart Corsairs with handbows are out there though. Uh, of course, the Black Dragons should be going for some uh, animals, I suppose. Ooh, one of the dragons is stuck here. It should be pulling out, however, but it's... Ooh, looks like they're actually trying to go for the Corpse Guard here. 
But yeah, this is not where the black dragon wants to be here. It's taking so much damage. So that's that is really not good for it. As you can see, the balance of power to go in a little bit in favor of the the counts as they did half HP to this black dragon, and that's not good. If there is a big soul stealer here from Marathi, though, that could change a lot. And you know, there I don't think there can be any more breath attacks. Maybe one more actually. So at least one dragon has used two. So already we're coming in. Looks like they're gonna try and get rid of this other corpse card. Oh, there's gonna be a big soul stealer here actually, and this is gonna catch everything here. That should really change the balance of power. Uh, I believe there's a summon somewhere here, which I didn't see. Black hearts here are fighting, but they're gonna be attacked in the rear. Skeleton warrior summon actually. But right now the dark elves are surrounded actually, so think about it there's still some black card corsairs those black cards of nagron really being heroes right now so you know it, all the infantry units being there does certainly help out a lot the stars been here against black cards Ooh, the black dragon here is coming out to support uh, uh, its black card of course there's uh yeah, these uh, units here are still trying to hold on. Ooh, that is a good wind of death here. Doing a little bit of damage to the uh, Black Guard Nagra. What? There's another one? Okay. There we go. So, now Marathi is uh, still on, over here, but not really engaging. That's kind of going down, and it is going definitely the way of uh, the vampire counts at this point. So, I suppose... Despite what the Black Dragons did and all the veterans, they, they still able to do anything. And another mistake is like not engaging Marathi, I think. Just she was always just flying overhead here. And that is another thing that is probably what's gonna end up causing uh, you know, costing the game for uh, the uh, the Dark Elves here. You know, just slightly too passive with the flying units. But yeah, that's about it. Well, mostly Marathi, basically. Should have been doing something. Also, it's pretty hard, like, just with three infantry units to hold the tide, right? So, for long enough for your black dragons to do the work, but, you know. Okay, those black dragons are really... They're still in play, but obviously they're gonna get taken out here, because it's just... They're two big targets, uh, and they'll get hit so much by these graveguards. So by, uh, by the White Kings and Heinrich Kamla. You know, it started off really well for the, um, the Dark Elves here, but, you know. Oh, there's actually a big Soul Steer, which I missed. Actually catches everything here, so Marathi. Big Soul Steer, but still. I just won't do it. I like how, you know, the Allied Troop Count drops a lot, so Marathi has 111 kills. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's quite something. So this Black Dragon may, probably won't come back. Marathi's finally coming in. Maybe Heinrich Kamla would die. Even if he dies. There's way too much here for uh, for accounts. Maybe if there was like a, some kind of huge... Oh, okay. Do we get the summon off? He does get the summon off. He does die. He does die, but still, there's still too much counts here. We have two White Kings, Black Dragon going down. There's still su some summons, zombies, Grave Guards, so it's too much. Too much. I mean, that that's quite funny because it actually, the way that looks, it's, it's as if Marathi's on the Black Dragon, but obviously that's not the case. Interesting graphical stuff there. So we're just going to be able to watch Marathi here. On her, is that a health? Is that what it's called? Yeah. I oh, look at how bloody she is right now. The crypt cores are really hitting her. Yeah, she's having a hard time here. Trying to get out. And there you go, close victory even. Okay, so at the end of the day, uh, Bungington turned it around quite well. 
Uh, but let's take a look at the statistics. So on Gamla, White King's value, city. Zombies getting value, pretty interesting. These Grave Guards, yep. Huge, huge stuff from them, Crypt Horrors. Yeah, as you can see here, the corpse cards and stuff, and the Mortis Engine, they didn't do anything, but... but the infantry and the two big single entities did the work. Morathi, almost 3k, wow. 1k on the Hag. Yeah, the black cards here of Nagron didn't do their worth, or the hand bows. Black Dragons, definitely getting some value here. Still though. Marathi not jumping on in to do work is, I would say, the mistake here. Um, just flying overhead and stuff. Definitely think that's like one of the bigger things. And even the Black Dragons, they should have been potentially more aggressive, in my opinion, from earlier on. Uh, going for more charges uh, right before the engagement started uh, is when that should have happened. But that's my opinion. Not sure if it's correct or not. But it's game one, so let's check out game number two. So here we have game number two between Reginald Pugginton and his opponent, Wardock. And here we have the Wood Elves for Reginald and the Chaos for Wardock. So I have to go over the compositions really, really quickly. We have the Glade Lord for the Wood Elves, Lady essentially, a Branch Wraith, Waystalker. Um, we also have. Uh, what, what else do we have? Yeah, five Eternal Guards, three Way Watchers, three Wild Riders with shields. As for the Chaos, we have uh, Sigvald, the Magnificent, a Chaos Sorcerer of Shadows, four Chaos Marauders, uh, the ROR uh, Chaos Warriors, uh, which is the Mirror Guard, four Marauder Horsemen, three Chaos Warhounds, two of the Chaos Spawn, uh, Unit of Dragon Ogre Shack, that's, and yeah, that, that, that's it actually. Well, I mean, a single unit of dragon ogres. So the Shanga, not the action dragon ogres. Right, so let's hit play. See what happens here. So Blade, he actually took some damage, but looks like... Oh, the, the Chaos is coming in with the Chaos Warhounds. I mean, ooh, that's... Uh, yeah, if they got charged by the Wild Riders, it wouldn't have been good, but... Nice volleys here. Uh, some skirmishing from both Chaos and Wood Elves. So nice to see this kind of stuff. Chaos is coming in, however, so... There's gonna be... is that a Spear Leech? No, that's Malkoth's mystifying my ass. Glade Lord, I don't know what it's doing here. This is a little bit crazy. It looks like the Warhounds aren't gonna potentially catch the Glade Lord here and slow her down. That's the case. Oh, those units could have been doing something. Yeah, she took some damage, but she's gonna get out of there safe and sound, it seems. Triple Wild Riders together, that's uh... I'm gonna be a little bit careful with uh, blocking them together, because that's not the way for them. Oh, the, the Branch Wraith now gets stuck here by the Chaos Warhounds and is getting shot by a lot of these. Ooh, the Warhounds take a massive volley from these Way Watchers. Way Watchers doing more work on Marauder Horsemen. And there's the Prey of Anathrima on the Chaos Spawn, who will now get focused by all the Way Watchers. The Way Watcher is going to be guiding now. Looks like some Chaos Warhounds tried to go through, but Eternal Guards were expertly placed to defend them. Nice charge here from the Wild Riders. So, front line engagement, you know, the wild, Wood Elves doing quite well here. Uh, Eternal Guards trying to kite away the Marauders. Wild Riders coming in here as well, so they should be disengaging soon because the Spear Support is there to relieve them of that engagement. There they go. The Waystalkers are here. Looks like, ooh, the Glador takes a huge hit from the Chaos Sorcerer of Shadows, but. So, so Shadows is also getting hit here, and here comes the Dragon Ogre Shagath, so the Glady is... Yeah, yeah in, in quite some trouble, potentially. Wants to get out of there, but does get hit. Wild Riders coming in, onto the Chaos Warhounds, frontline engagement. And these are Marauders, so yeah. Alright, we have an Awakening of the Wood over there, Dragon Ogre Shagath taking massive damage. Well, the riders coming on in, they should be getting a charge. Oh no, they were misclicked and they didn't get a charge onto the mirror guard. That is very unfortunate for the wood elves here. But still, it's looking quite good for them. We have the arrow of Kurnus coming in to hit Prince Sigvald. Doesn't really do anything. Dagronga Shakath coming in. Still a bunch of way watchers and they're getting a nasty volley onto the Marauder Horseman here. So they have plenty of volleys left, so they could definitely be carrying this, uh, especially if they use their ammo wisely. 
Uh, the Wild Riders here are not really doing anything. Looks like they're gonna go forward, but... This is what the Marauder Horsemen want, right? They just want to run away because these units, you know, they actually cannot catch the Marauder Horsemen. The Marauder Horsemen have a really good time against the Wild Riders. Low armor and cav, easy stuff. Nice charge here from the Wild Riders, though. It looks like the Dragon Ogre Shagath here got uh, netted again and it's gonna get shot to pieces. And there it goes. That is a huge loss for the Chaos. The Chaos Sorcerer coming on in for the Glady again. Big hit! So we'll see what happens there. Of course, with Sick Vault support, there's no issue for uh, the Chaos there to win that engagement. That is an unfortunate push, actually, I believe, from the Chaos Sorcerer. But Sick Vault is still gonna be difficult to deal with. And make no mistake. And our horsemen here pushing off the Wild Riders. Still some engagements happening here, and this engage yeah, this is gonna go bad for uh, Chaos potentially. They really didn't want to disengage here. Chaos Pawn aren't in play, and by the way, they, they are here and they're gonna be able to do quite some work if they come back in. Sigvald is chasing off the Glador, but there's still Way Watchers with quite some ammo. The Wild Riders need to be doing work. Ooh, Waystalker is up and ready. Still the branch rates are up. These units. They're not gonna come back, but if they if they were to come back, they would have done quite some work. We're gonna be seeing this uh, charge here from uh, the Wild Riders. There's an awakening of the woods here, but it's actually kind of a bit of a waste of... Uh, it's a magic, I would say, because that didn't really do much. Here, however, yeah, the Wild Riders attempted to do work, but I think they... Or slow down, but still. The Waywatchers here... Ooh, there's, they actually stopped, and that was a mistake for sure. Waywatchers here trying to do work, but ooh, looks like the Waystalker is engaged. There's an arrow furnace here, uh, which didn't hit anything actually. Looks like the Waywatchers here are almost gonna get caught here, and they definitely will. Laylord trying to come in and uh, relieve the pressure. Look at these Marauder Horsemen here, they're actually walking forward while. Oh, they were netted. Did I see that right? That's that's a weird, weird bug. So yeah, okay, that's very strange. Anyway, this one you can see the passive power is actually evening up quite a bit. That was an arrow of Kurnas hitting some of the chaos spawn, I think, if I saw that correctly. So yeah, the branch rate is engaging these, but it's still six chaos spawn. So even though the HP looks uh, small, they're still gonna take that fight against the branch rate, I'd say. Well, there's gonna be an Awakening of the Wood here that's gonna do slightly more than the other one, but still. I wonder if that's, like, you know, would have been better off uh, with more Earth Bloods, but of course I don't know the Winds of Magic pull of the Widows, though I think, I would say it's probably not very high right now. So the Waywatchers have really good ammo here. Gladord is engaging the Warhounds here, should be doing fine. And the mobility of the Widows is starting to get low at this point. Because of that, uh, of the Wood Elves? Of Chaos, I mean. So because of that, the Way Watchers cannot get caught, and they still have 9 ammo, 7 ammo, and 6 ammo here with plenty of models, so... Uh, it's really gonna be a question of what are they gonna hit. So right now we see the Branch Wraith is engaged here, which is huge. This is a problem. No more Earth Bloods, no more Awakening of the Woods. There's gonna be a final Awakening of the Wood here, so that's a pretty good one. Now we'll see these uh, Way Watchers do doing a little bit of damage here to these blobbed up units but still there's the mirror guard there's uh sigvon so yeah okay chaos spawn are down mirror guard still in play so i think if the mirror guard gets taken out here it's all up to sigvon and by the way these i feel like yeah the wall riders should finish up warhounds there then we need to see the mirror guard dead and all of the routing units here i think that's the play Okay, so we'll see the Waystalker here finish up these Marauders. Pretty good. Um, yeah, this is really getting down to the wires. <laughs> the Mirror Guard here, uh, we'll see how it handles itself, but the big charge from the Wild Riders at this point. Blade Lord also doing quite well. So if they keep pulling out and coming back in, oh yeah, this charge is going to flatten the Marauders. Just 25 of them, and there they go. Crowded. So. Late game Wild Riders can carry so hard, actually. So, yeah. There's a speed and depleted units. And they're very good against depleted units, especially units like the Chaos Marauders. Which they're even good against. By default, from the start of the battle. 
Okay, so while the riders here, I'm gonna chase off these units to make sure they're not coming back. We want your ammo is looking at six, five, four. Okay, so these are gone. Um, this, this unit, yeah, looks like the Marauder Horsemen here are coming back. There's 14 models with four ammo, and you know anything at this point is quite big. That's are still in favor of chaos, though. So here we go, Wild Riders and uh, Blade Lord coming on through. They are going to disengage, however. So, I'm um, not really sure about how legit this is in terms of the rules, but... Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have Way Stalker here. Uh, just chasing off the Mirror Guard, looks like, because the Mirror Guard's broken. It's all up to Sigvald right now. Can Sigvald do it? I think... Hmm... He's trying to catch the Glaylord? He's also trying to... Hmm... I wonder if he should have just supported... Mirror Guard here. Because if he supported his Mirror Guard, maybe they wouldn't have routed, maybe they... Maybe he could have gotten it back, even if he tried to support it now. But that's... that's unlikely. Especially now as they're getting chased. And they're actually... they're broken, but they're not shattered yet. Wild Riders will come in to finish the deal. The way watchers are coming through, and I think they're gonna have to try and shoot at some point, but we'll see. The angle is not correct for shooting at the Sigvold, though, because remember, Sigvold has 110 armor and a shield. Okay, so actually, the Glade Lord actually gets hit quite a bit by the way watcher ammo. And Sigvold coming on through, Arrow of Kernus not doing so much, so. Looking a bit rough here for the Wood Elves, but that, that hit actually pretty good. Yeah, Sigvald is just... Well, Playlord turned back, but... Ooh, some really nice stuff though from the Wild Riders, from the Way Watchers. Like, if the Way Watchers get their shots in, uh, that's gonna do great. Sigvald getting hit in the back though, so it's not what he wants. That is clearly not what he wants. Obviously, Waystalker is gonna lose to Sigvald, but it's not really a fa fair fight now, is it? So, his Sigvald's getting shot in the back while, yes, he's killing the Waystalker, but at this point, look at Sigvald taking so much damage. Cannot even finish off the Waystalker as it runs away. It's like he's gonna go straight for. What is, where is he going? He's really trying to chase that Waystalker, but that means he's getting hit in the rear. He's gonna have to turn around at this point. He should have turned around, but now he's in a really tough spot. He's surrounded by a bunch of Way Watchers, a bunch of Wild Riders here. Ooh, the Glaylord coming in as well, so that, that should be it for uh, Sigvald. And there he goes. He is routed off the field, so 2 0 for Reginald Poynton. Uh, take a look at the stats though. So, French Wraith, Way Stalker. Yeah, the Eternal Guards didn't do so great as expected, but look at the Way Watchers. Value gained for sure here. For Sigvald, yeah, late game is pretty scary stuff, but, you know, Way Watchers did the work. Our horsemen getting their value, but yeah, this is definitely a clo uh, close game, but still. Uh, Chaos Spawn here really got taken out without doing much, especially one at the start got netted and just sh shot to pieces, so... I suppose, uh, well done in that case to Reginald Pugenton, who takes the series 2-0. Thank you all for watching. Forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. And I shall see you all next time.